What's going on people and tonight England versus Czech Republic final group game we were already pretty much through but I think it's a bit of a get out of jail card match this one because even if we lose I think it's pretty certain we can still go through. For me that just cushions the blow if we have a bad game again because people are going to be like yeah but what are you complaining about we're through to the next the knockout stages and yeah but it's about how you play football. It's not about just getting the results, it's about the style of football you play. I'll go through my lineup in a minute, but there's certain players that really aren't cutting it, and one of them is Harry Kane. And I've been back and forth with plenty of people online about this, because so many people are kissing his ass basically, when he's not even proved it. Look, people are coming at me with stats from the season for Tottenham. This isn't about Tottenham, this is about a tournament football, and about England, and what he's doing in the tournament, and he's been a ghost. I don't care what you're saying to me. People are saying, what, what do you expect him to do when he ain't got the service? But yet, have you seen the positions he's taken up when he hasn't got the ball? He's dropping out of, the, out of the box, trying to come a bit deeper. Still a ghost. Not getting the ball anyway. And even if he does, he's falling over, he's getting fouled. He, he's non-existent. And for me, it's not good enough. Especially being the captain. Where's the leadership? Where's the inspiration to lead and, and how you're playing? Even if you're not vocal, lead by how you play. And he's not doing that at all. And I think it's partly due to all the stuff going on with his club um, and where he's leaving. And if it is that, that's a poor excuse. Get this tournament done and out of the way before you even consider thinking about that. Obviously, it's going to be in your head naturally anyway. But if you say you like playing football as much as you do for your country, as much as you say you do then prove it in performances. And I'm not saying you've got to go and get a hat-trick every game, but just performance, game by game, and it's not been there. Now, there's been others as well, but as I said, as the captain and leader of that team, he's got to do much, much more. And for me, he's not doing it. So, I would take him out tonight. Bench him. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're Ronaldo. I don't care if you're Messi. I don't care if you're Paul Pogba. Whoever it is, if you're not performing, you should be dropped. It's as simple as that. Why should you play just because you're a high-profile name and off of past performances that you haven't even done in this tournament? You can't just play off of your season for your club because this is a different time. This is here and now. What are you doing here and now? And for me, he's not doing it. But I'm not going to get into that too much more because I'll just be ranting for ages about it. But my lineup for tonight... And by the way, I've predicted a 1-0 loss for us tonight against the Czech Republic because they're coming into it with more form, more confidence, and I think we're going to underestimate them. I think we could be in for a shock, especially with how we're playing. Where's the goals coming from? People say Sterling and Kane. What do you mean, where are the goals coming from? Rashford. They're not doing it. So where are the goals coming from? We scored one goal. So tonight, my lineup, I would go with Pickford. I'd go with Rhys James at right back. Stones and Mings at centre-back because I don't think Maguire's fit. Luke Shaw at left back. Now, I wasn't pleased with Shaw and James in the last game, but I think that's more down to Southgate and his tactical, uh, what he's telling them to do. I don't think he's allowing them to push up as much as they should be. I think Reese James, the one good thing that Kane did in that last game against Scotland was put a ball across the box along the floor for Reese James running in, and he should at least get it on target. But other than that, he was a ghost. Um, but Reese James should do better. Um, but I would start him because I do prefer James to Walker anyway. We could play Trippier there, but I, I think James has to be the guy. He's just won a Champions League, for God's sake. Um, Luke Shaw at left back for me. I was originally going with Chilwell, but Chilwell Mount obviously now out with the whole COVID thing, which is another joke. Why is Steve Clark going to be there tonight as a Scotland manager when he's grabbing up and hugging Billy Gilmore as much as Mount and Chilwell was? And they even saw McGinn after the game doing it and hugging him and all over him. So why is he playing? It's complete bullshit. So, that would be my back four. Holding midfielder, I would go with Rice. I think Southgate will play two, but I think he should stick with one. And then I'd put Bellingham and Grealish as, uh, just in front of him, kind of as number eights. Bellingham on the right, Grealish on the left of him. And then I'd have Saka on the left wing. Calvert-Lewin would be my number nine. Drop Harry Kane. Calvert-Lewin deserves a chance. He will be more of a threat aerially and just holding the ball up and just creating problems. People said, someone said to me online, yeah, but it might be a bit more of a risk with foreign referees because he'll get booked more like they used to with Crouch. I'd still risk it because Kane is not performing. He needs to be dropped. So Calvert-Lewin has to come in for me and then I put Sancho on the right. Um, a lot of people want Sancho in for his season, what he's done for Dortmund. It's totally different to international football. 
I, I thought he was poor against Austria in the last friendly before the tournament started. But I'm willing to give him a chance. Um, otherwise, I would have put um, probably kept Foden in. I don't think Foden's been fantastic. Um, I would have probably kept him in, but I would give Sancho a chance in this one. Um, and if he's, if he's not performing, pull him off. But this is another reason as well and problem that Southgate's got. Similar to Ole Gunnar Solskjaer at Manchester United. Late substitutions. They wait too long to make substitutions because they're too scared to rock the boat. Security EFC. And this is part of the problem. Um, as I said, it will go with two midfielders tonight, holding midfielders. And probably a back five. And that's part of, that's a huge problem because we're not even utilising the, the wing backs properly. So I would go with Saka, bring him in. I thought he was quality against Austria, I think it was, in the last friendly. I wasn't going to take him in my original provisional squad for, before the tournament. But in that last friendly, I thought he was man of the match and he got a goal. So I would give Saka a chance tonight um, and a Sancho on the other wing. And then Calvert-Lewin as the number nine. And then the subs can sort themselves out. But Kane, for me, is the major thing. He needs to be dropped. I don't care who you are, as I said, if you're not performing, you should be dropped. It's as simple as that. Um, I've got, actually got Patrick Schick in my team, my fantasy team. So I think he will get a goal tonight, one at least. Um, they've obviously got Kufau and Suchet. And I think they would be a tougher game than Croatia were. It would not surprise me if they beat us tonight. And it would not surprise me if we get a draw with them. Um, I, I do think we could beat them, but not how we're playing at the moment. So it's going to have to be a major turnaround. I think it even needs to be a better performance in the Croatia game to start the tournament off to get a win against the Czechs. I think that people are going to underestimate them. And I think we need to show them some respect, but not be in fear of them. But as I said, it needs to be a complete turnaround to that Scotland performance. Because if we play like that, they will beat us. And we'll be lucky to get a draw if we play like that against them. We will be lucky. So that's my lineup for tonight, guys. I'm not going to get carried away with the songs and everything tonight because I did that before the Scotland game and I felt like a mug because they treated us and played and performed like mugs. So, look, the whole COVID stuff as well, it's a joke because why is Steve Clark going to be there tonight? Why is McGinn going to be playing tonight? doesn't make sense. I want us to win, um, but obviously a draw is better than a loss. But come on, man, we should be... Look, they're a good team, Czech Republic, but... With the players that we've got on paper, we should be beating these teams. But this is part of the problem, because we're not turning up. It doesn't matter who we've got in our team right now. We're not playing as a fluid unit, and that needs to change. The chemistry is missing. So hopefully we get to see something different tonight and a major turnaround from that uh, Scotland game. Um, and all this thing about trying to qualify second in the group because the next game you'll get an easier opponent. That's the wrong mentality to have. Why do you not want to beat the best teams earlier on anyway? Because then you're going to have an easier game later on in the tournament. And plus you have to beat one of the best teams in the tournament to get to the final anyway. So it's the mentality as well that winds me up. Why are we trying to finish second to get an easier game? Where's your winning mentality and belief that you could beat these bigger teams? Where is it? We need to change that because the media's getting behind this second place finish as well. It's a joke. But... I'm predicting one 0 Czech Republic tonight. I hope I'm wrong, and they need to answer the boy they need to answer the fans tonight because I'm not the only one that feels like this. I'm not excited about tonight's game. I was excited before the Scotland one, and now I'm not because of how they're performing. So look, we'll see what happens, and I'll probably be back after the game tonight, guys. I'll see you then.